It's your boy Rashan Akaza and your favorite big father's favorite big father thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You did? Alright, I ain't gonna lie. Today I tapped in for the first time to that nigga Charleston White live stream. I spent a good 30 minutes with that nigga today. That nigga be on point. I seen some shit the other day where he was like, niggas always you talk about snitching, but niggas always snitching themselves. When you take a plea deal, you're snitching on yourself. You're basically telling the courts, yeah, you did it. You're willing to accept the lesser charge because you're admitting to doing it. And you, you know you, you're guilty, so you don't want to get the maximum penalty, so you take whatever they're willing to give you. I'm like, damn. That nigga really on point. And what hit me today, no homo, he was like, you know, and you can find paperwork on a 14-year-old boy, but you can't find no paperwork on that nigga. Like he said, he never put a nigga in jail before. Like he never caused destruction to any black person. What he did is he made snitching sound cool. I ain't gonna front. His rants be crazy as fuck. He'll type, he'll type, he'll snitch on a motherfucking hyena for snatching a little, little baby deer. He'll tell on everybody. Like he said, he's a community activist. Whatever the fuck that mean. Yo, at first I'm like, yo, this nigga crazy. And then when I, when I figured... When I learned he's just he's just doing that to mock snitching, it makes sense now. Cause he really he really be like he be telling on the pimps, the gangsters, the crips, the bloods. But he was hanging with the crips and the bloods. So I'm like, what's going on here? But like he said, he built his fan base the way he was, and what did he do? He dropped a check on his shit to take his shit to the next level. Like half y'all entertainers or rappers can't Drop a check to take y'all to the next level. He said he dropped two checks to say cheese. And I was wondering, like, why the fuck is say cheese interviewing this rat snitch ass nigga? Then I have to actually listen to the nigga. That nigga be kicking game like a motherfucker. He just sound country as fuck. Cause you're country nigga. I ain't mad at you, cuz. Blood, whatever the fuck you want to claim. Like his most recent shit, how he talking about how Nipsey was killed by his by his own kind in front of his own store. All right, you got you got to watch your partners, my nigga. You supposed to be around people that that, that love and protect. Supposed to be there to protect you. And you letting the outsider get that close to you to touch you, nigga. Mm -mm. Turn around that picture, man. Yeah, he definitely came out of nowhere and he 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 blowing up. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. What you think about this Charleston White nigga? Is he funny? Is he a clown? Y'all, I, I like to watch that, 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 what's that, that dancing nigga name? All them weird niggas. I like Fat Boy and all these other skit niggas. I think this nigga pretty funny. Everybody gonna like what they like. Right? Left? But don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Relish Renee Cutter, their Facebook fan page, The Relish Renee Cutter Show. Until next time, smoke for your boy, Triples. Say, man, I keep telling y'all, yeah, I'm gonna have motherfuckers talking about me like they were talking about Jesus, nigga. And I keep telling you bitch ass niggas, y'all don't drink enough water to stand up under the light like this here, nigga. Yeah, you niggas ain't this motherfucking handsome. You, you little bitty boys ain't this motherfucking cute. Nigga, don't none of you niggas know what it feel like, nigga, from elementary, uh, 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 all your elementary days and all your middle school days. You bitch ass nigga don't know what it feel like, nigga, for all the pretty little girls in school to like you. You nigga don't know what it feel like, nigga. For all the pretty little girls in school to like you, your mamas couldn't dress you good enough. And then, nigga, I've always had this conversation. Say, see, you niggas trying to talk about what I did at 13 and 14. Go ask them niggas when I got in there with the murderers. TYC, get in state school, nigga, where all the children in Texas went for killing all the baddest children from Houston, Dallas, and Texas. Turn down a little bit, bro. Nigga, I ran that motherfucker, nigga. 
For the whole seven years I was there, nigga, I ran that motherfucking call and shots as a little bitty nigga, nigga. You niggas can't discredit me, nigga. That's why all the big dogs and all the triple, 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 triple OGs fuck with me. All you niggas on the internet talking and the streets love it, nigga. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I, I brought this street. Say, if you niggas will get off the internet listening to me talk about when I used to be street, nigga, I'm a community activist. I'm a father. I, I community act. And now I'm fucking you niggas pussies up on this motherfucking internet, nigga. Say, you want to know why I say cheese playing me, nigga? Yeah, nigga. Go give him 30000 nigga. This the third video, right? See, I done him one time. My first video, I paid him 10000 nigga. Yeah, you bitch ass nigga, get your money up, nigga. You want a nigga to put you on the on the platform for free, nigga? Yeah, nigga, I gave him ten thousand, nigga. That was the first interview, and the first interview done so good, nigga. I come back, give him another ten, broke ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Now guess what? That's my brand, nigga. Now Charleston White is a brand, nigga. You niggas go brand yourself. You want to play my music for free? Say, say, gee, now, nigga, invest in yourself like I did, nigga. And I'm finna give him another 10, nigga. But I'm gonna bring him to the house in Atlanta, though. I'm gonna bring him to the house in Atlanta, though, nigga. Yeah, I've been fucking with him out here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, nigga. Yeah, I'm finna give him another 10, nigga. So that's gonna be $30,000, nigga. Can you motherfuckers buy that? Can you motherfuckers buy that? <laughs> Look how pretty that skin is, nigga. Lashara Lampkin. She makes soap, nigga. The soap got black seeds in it. Mushrooms. Onions, all kind of shit. And I put it on my face like you nigga used to try to put that Noxzema on your face when you couldn't stop your face from breaking out with them bumps. Nigga, you don't see no acne marks on my face, nigga. I'm just a little bit more handsome than you, nigga. I'm way more prettier than you, nigga. And I'm a tad bit more sexier than what you niggas think you is, nigga. You niggas ain't no motherfucking sex symbol. You ain't got no motherfucking sex appeal. And you niggas is low life. You gotta type what you wanna say, cause don't nobody wanna hear what you wanna say, nigga. Everybody want to hear what I got to say, nigga, because I got something to say, nigga. You bitch ass niggas ain't got nothing to say. Proper instructions motivate people, nigga. I got some instructions for the people, nigga, so I can motivate the people, nigga. Hey, nigga, you the... Yeah, nigga. And I ain't talking about no more of them bitch ass rapping, nigga, because they don't want to pay Say Cheese TV, man. I, I show Say... I show... Why you posting them so much? Because I'm paying, nigga. That's what... Say, the old niggas taught me. Oh, let me turn this shit down, nigga. Yeah, see Joe Blow believe we can make it. You hear that music he playing in the background? Frankie Beverly and Mays, we can make it. I don't believe we can make it with you niggas. Now we gonna have to go down there and work with y'all children, but we can't make it with you niggas. You niggas got to die off. See, I'm in the process, nigga, of dividing the real from the fake, nigga. See, God let me come through, nigga, so I can divide. You better go study the scripture, nigga. Jesus didn't come to bring everybody together. He came to divide. Only a few can enter into the kingdom, nigga. So I come to divide the real from the fake, nigga. And all the real over here with me. And the fake over there with y'all, nigga. So yeah, that's what we doing, nigga. We dividing from you fake ass niggas so we can thrive as a nation of people, nigga. We going to get y'all children. You bitch ass nigga go do what you do. You don't do nothing with your kids no way, nigga. We ain't fucking with you 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 13 and up. We really don't want y'all. Y'all got to come to us. We going down to the first, second, and third grade like the white folks do, nigga. Third grade literacy test, nigga. That's what we focusing on. The third graders who can't read, nigga. We ain't getting down about you uh, 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 pre-adolescent motherfuckers mad at your mama, mad at your daddy because you done been molested and all that other shit. You don't know how to process the pain. We going to let life teach you motherfuckers, but we going to go get them babies, nigga. We going to go get them goddamn babies that everybody ignoring, nigga. We going to let life teach you hard head motherfucker that's caught up in. Now cut that shit off, blow. Cut it off. Cut it off. We we can't make it, blow. Not with these niggas. They got to die. Let me hear some Tupac music. The the white man's world. The white man's world, nigga. Yeah, we can't make a motherfucking thing. Yeah, nigga. 
What makes yeah, nigga? How you gonna be black and proud, nigga? What makes you ashamed of being black? I can give you a whole list of shit, nigga. You know how hard it is. I can give you a whole list of shit, nigga. You know how hard it is? You nigga weak, nigga. You see what we at? We're in the weight room, nigga. I met the I met a I met a uh this the leader of the Regency Oak Bloods. That nigga run Fort Worth. That nigga run the bloods around this motherfucker. I met his house. You niggas can't wake up, go to no triple OG house, nigga. And disrupt this neighborhood with this kind of shit. Got me twisted up in prison, I miss you. Crying looking at my nieces. Listen, crying. When the last time you heard a nigga said he cried in prison? This is swearing one day you might leave me for somebody that's rich. Nigga fucked up, nigga. But keep watching me, nigga. Keep watching me, nigga. I'm on school all you nigga. Yeah, nigga. You niggas falling for the conversation just like a bitch, nigga. They told me conversation rule the motherfucking nation, nigga. Who ruling the nation right now? Charleston White. I'm on every media platform, nigga. Yeah. And you niggas can't find no niggas to say, hey, he put me in jail. You can't find no nigga. It would be a video, nigga. Or something. Where the niggas at? Where are the men at? Where they homeboys at? Nobody from my city have made a video and say, hey man, that nigga, you can't, where the niggas at? They don't want that twin, ain't, hey man, paperwork, they got paperwork on a 14 year old kid. I'm sure y'all get paperwork on a 43 year old nigga. Hate on it, nigga. Be pr you can't be proud to be black no more, nigga. We ain't heard no white boys in a long time. Shout out to White Boy Lockdown Production. Shout out to White Boy Lockdown Production, nigga. I got a real stomp down white boy for to tell you niggas how weak y'all niggas really is, nigga. Shout out to White Boy Lockdown Production, nigga. I went and found me a real wood, nigga. I went and found me a stomp down motherfucking wood, nigga. Not no white boy that use, nigga, and listen to rap. I went and found me one of them real white boy woods, nigga. Let's go represent for the white boy, nigga. For the white wood. He ain't no white boy. He'll stomp down wood, nigga. I wouldn't got me one, nigga. You niggas ain't got no real wood, nigga. You got white boys. You got white friends. I wouldn't got me a real wood. You come out that penitentiary, nigga. Stomp down, stand down, and then whoop them a whole bunch of niggas in that penitentiary. And he ain't racist. He ain't racist. He ain't racist. He my kind of people. I'm gonna show you nigga what kind of niggas to connect with, nigga. Yeah, you nigga go, go get Mexicans that can't speak Spanish. I ain't no motherfucking disgrace. I ain't never shot at a black man. I ain't never in my life shot at a black man. I ain't never robbed from a black man. I ain't never stole from a black man. I ain't never broke into a black person's house. I ain't never fucked over a black woman. I ain't never fucked over a black woman. Never. I ain't never hit a black woman. Never. Oh, I'm sorry, one time in the eighth grade, Michelle caught in the eighth grade, and she was my girlfriend. She told everybody I couldn't tongue kiss, and I ain't know how to handle it. I was acting like a bitch. I didn't know nothing about being no man then. But once I knew what a man was, nigga, I ain't never raised my hand at a woman, nigga. I ain't never pimped on a black bra. I've been pimping on white hoes and Mexican bitches. Say, man, I ain't never done no harm to no black people. And y'all can't find nobody ever put in jail, nigga, because I ain't never put nobody in jail, nigga. I swear to God, I ain't never put nobody in jail. Y'all falling for the internet game. I told Sean Cotton today, I'm the first nigga to bring the snitch character. I'm the first nigga to bring the snitch character to Instagram, social media, and say, hey, nigga, I tell on you. Then Bubba Dub took it. Then Bubba Dub took it, man. Y'all clap for Bubba Dub. But nigga, I make it look real, though, nigga. Because I'm so connected and well connected, nigga. Say, man, shout out to Mob James. Shout out to Big Steel, man. Shout out to Gangster Chronicles, man. And I found me a black jeweler, y'all. I found me a black jeweler. We ain't fucking with Johnny Dang no more. We ain't getting our money no more. No more to Johnny Dang and all them a rap saying niggas. We getting our money to the real niggas, man. It's a, it got to be some niggas. Say, don't y'all listen. Don't y'all fall for videos, right? Y'all watch all the rapping nigga videos, and they get on there and holler, they real, right? Listen, I was playing snicks. Do you think I could be at Joe Blow House, man? That man been to the feds, man. I was playing snitch and I played it so good, nigga. Cause I was sitting outside the police station. Yeah, nigga, I'm right here and I was smoking some weed. Y'all so goddamn dumb. We done played on y'all minds, nigga. I kicked the dough down, nigga. And shout out to Bubba Dub for carrying the torch, Bubba. I love that young nigga there. I love Bubba Dub, my nigga. That's a funny young nigga. That's a funny young nigga. Say, I ain't got to create the skits. 
See, everybody else got to create these kids, man. Shout out to Bubba Dub, nigga. Now I'm living rich, nigga. See, you, you, see, you can't afford to pay Say Cheese TV $30,000. Now, he got 20, he got 10 more coming. He got 10 more coming, baby. Yeah, nigga. You niggas want to listen to him. The seal in the Constitution. To be a nation for white people. So why y'all tripping? So why y'all tripping? He telling y'all what this nation was built for. Y'all broke though, my nigga. Y'all woke up broke calling me a rat, nigga. I'm dropping $20,000 down on Say Cheese just for Say Cheese interview, nigga. Marketing. It's called marketing and advertising, nigga. See, the rappers dropping on bullshit, nigga. Y'all be out the book coming soon. I got two movie deals because of that, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I season with pumpkin spice. Hold on, hold on. Then I add a touch of coconut oil and air fry at 300 degrees. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, man, did y'all hear what I just said? Young people. I gave Say Cheese TV $20,000 for two separate interviews. For two separate motherfucking interviews. Now I got two movie deals coming. I got my book coming out. I got a podcast. My own podcast. My own Texas podcast. Gangster Chronicles. Say, man, listen. Y'all talk all that shit on the internet, but y'all ain't making no money. I'm making money right now. I'm signed to one of the biggest motherfucking publishers in the industry right now, nigga. <laughs> Say, bring the hate! Bring the hate! We need the hate, baby! God damn it, we need the hate! Yeah, say, Adam, I just got off the phone with him, man. He talking to the jeweler right now. Shout out to KD the jeweler. Shout out to KD the jeweler, man. Look for him. Let me see if I find him on Instagram. Yeah, niggas. He got another 10,000 coming, though, baby. Yeah, y'all better start paying that nigga, my nigga. Some of y'all he like, nigga. Some get lead. Off of the nigga some kind of money, nigga. But I knew what to make the nigga shake. I knew what to make him shake. Some of y'all want to give him 2500 Some of y'all want to give him 3000 I knew. When I signed that industry, I'm telling y'all. Say, man, listen. This is the time to put your bag down, nigga. You got everybody's motherfucking attention. You got everybody's motherfucking attention, nigga. Say, you see what's... Now you see the numbers, right? Do y'all see what the numbers are doing when you pay a nigga? You see that one video is over almost 500, over half a million, and it ain't even three days. That's what you call investing in yourself. Say, how many real niggas coming to work out, man? Out them feds, nigga. You can't come over here, you a snitch or a rat, nigga. You can't be in these kind of niggas presence, nigga. That's why you niggas is on the phone typing what you typing, nigga. But say, listen, check this out. Did you see, man? Did you see? The first 10,000, ah, it did something. It got some motherfuckers' attention. The second 10,000, boom. Woo, boy, we doing numbers now, baby. I'm talking about nigga motherfuckers sending girl. Motherfuckers sending me all. Hey, say, homie, listen. Y'all got your minds, homie. For one, you got to have you some goals when you wake up. And it can't be on here typing your hate, expressing your hate. All you, all you, all you waking up with is displaced anger, bringing it to Mr. Charleston. Mr. Charleston is well equipped to deal with little boys like you, nigga. I'm, I'm an expert. I'm a child expert, according to white folks. I know how to deal with you kind of motherfucking babies, angry motherfuckers. Say, man. Say, man. I'm telling you, grown man meeting up again. Say, that one that that just done by 25 years after penitentiary, nigga. See, that's OG Danger, nigga. If y'all know about Danger, ask them niggas from y'all neighborhood. If y'all from Texas, anywhere, OG Danger, Hoover Crip, nigga. Hoover Crip, nigga. I'm talking about representing. Say, what's up with it, baby? Say, man, he on this lunch break. That nigga on this lunch break to come work out. That nigga on this goddamn lunch break to come work out, man. Say, what kind of niggas is you niggas laying up on the internet? That's why you ain't got a bunch of bitches. That's why I don't know bitch listen to you. Say, say that's why them hoes handle you niggas and them hoes, them young girls call you nigga bitch ass nigga. Because they don't see no strong. I'm going to let you nigga look at them men work out for a minute. Say, say, them truck driver, that one nigga living right there, he a truck driver, nigga. He be on the road two, three days, and he got nine kids. That's that red nigga right there. That's the one of the toughest red niggas I know right there, nigga, besides OG Zam. That red nigga right there, man, one of the hardest niggas around the city. Let's say, these real blood niggas, homie. O OG Baba Louie came right here and blessed this game right here, man. Shout out to King Baba Louie, man. Shout out to King Baba Louie. King Baba Louie came right here where these big niggas at, homie. And they rolled out the red carpet. I'm talking about put thousands in his pocket. He had a motherfucking hat, nigga. I'm talking about they came and paid homage, baby. I swear to God. 
I swear to God, man. Say, man, say, you niggas on, this is the wreck yard. Nigga, this is the prison wreck yard. But this is the federal prison wreck yard where you got to check in with your paperwork. You can't come here, nigga, if your name is some motherfucking paperwork. Say, I'm going to keep showing y'all what the real is. Them niggas been faking and shaking, man. Them niggas been faking and shaking too motherfucking long. Say, man, there's some real niggas in Houston. We ain't going to say fuck Houston. We ain't finna say fuck Houston, cause I got some real live niggas down there in Houston, man. Shout out to White Boy Lockdown Productions, though, man. Down there in Florida. Shout man, say y'all go subscribe and check out White Boy Lockdown Production. That white boy getting some real game. I don't mean to keep calling him no white boy, it's by habit. But not very often, homie, do you get to meet your stomp down wood on this side of the fence. You, but not very often And y'all can walk right by each other And have mutual respect Y'all can sit so next I'm to each other But you understand what he believe And what you believe And y'all don't squabble with each other About each other's beliefs Once you understand his culture He understand your culture Then it ain't no motherfucking problem It's when we trying to mix these motherfucking cultures Without no kind of understanding Not to mix the cultures Right? We can, we can exist in harmony, but to cohabitate, no, that ain't why it's supposed to be. I keep telling you, motherfucker, you ain't never seen a bluebird and a red bird flying together. Never. The black boy, Dr. King told us, follow them people. Them people tired of us following them. You can't be mad at the white boy in America because he's sick of us on his ass. Everywhere we go, we running up his ass. He ready for us to go be like Bill his own. Bill our own. Yeah, they get we every, every neighborhood the white boy move into, we want to follow right behind the white boy and move with him and send our kid to his school where he done built out a luxury for his children. And we want to get mad when he tell us, yeah, we sick of you niggas. Get me, move back, to, go back to the ghetto. That's what they trying to tell us, man, go back and build in your ghetto. Me already letting you motherfucker know when they, when they call the police on them niggas that went to Starbucks, they're sitting there waiting for a bridge in me. That was the white boy's subtle hint to say, listen, nigga, don't be your nigga Starbuck. We sick of you nigga eating at our steakhouses and coming in here complaining about the food. And then when you sorry, motherfucker, get up and leave. Y'all ain't left now, motherfucking tip for now, motherfucker. Then y'all want to get mad when we hire some, some nigga waitresses and send the nigga waitresses over there to you. Then you want to get mad and say, why y'all send us the black waitress? Because we already know y'all ain't going to leave a motherfucking tip and we don't want to do our white folk like that. They come and work for tips out of college. Let them, yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't kill no motherfucking rats in Philly. Name a rat y'all done killed in Philly, nigga. Since you want to say y'all kill rats in Philly. Name a rat you Philly niggas done killed this week. Because there's plenty of rats walking around in Philly you niggas ain't killed. There's plenty of niggas done snitched in Philadelphia right now today on the block that you niggas ain't killed. How in the fuck you going to say y'all kill rats in Philly, nigga? <laughs> yeah, it's a rat right now in the jailhouse. Nigga, politicking with niggas. Man, you nigga better, you niggas to get on this goddamn internet and say any goddamn thing. <laughs> say, nigga, say, man, you niggas ain't killed now. You, especially you niggas on here typing. You niggas in here typing won't jump on nobody but your mamas and your grandmama, nigga. You niggas scare your, your drunk ass uncles, Neil. That's why you niggas want to try to make me out to be drunk. Them the niggas you scare in your family. You ain't, you ain't never scared no nigga like us. Yeah, you bitch ass niggas on this internet ain't couldn't even come over here and talk. You niggas be in the car sitting down over. You niggas couldn't come amongst that. Look at them niggas, man. Them niggas on their lunch break working. Y'all ain't never seen no nigga come on. Nigga, most of you bitch ass niggas so weak you in the break room with your feet kicked up trying to catch an ESPN channel, nigga. You bitch ass nigga won't. This nigga on this goddamn lunch break working out, nigga. I'm around strong niggas, man. I'm around some strong niggas. And them niggas work out like they on steroids. I ain't bullshit. I ain't bullshit. And let me show you. And this is a single nigga house. Nigga, this is a single father house. Look at all that shit. This just the snack. This the snack cabinet. This the snack ice box, nigga. That ain't even a deep freezer right there. This just the snack ice box. Nigga can't open you niggas ice box and y'all got one, two, three, four, four different kind of goddamn sodas. Gatorade, tea, and look how this nigga buy Bill. You broke ass nigga ain't living like this here. Nigga, I'm talking about this day, nigga. This and then look up there. And then look up there, nigga. More soda. More juices. You bitch ass nigga just on here talking. You bitch ass say, then that's just outside, nigga. This is outside in the workout area. Yeah, this is outside in the workout area. You nigga icebox. You nigga, that's why you nigga laying on this goddamn thing right here. You ain't got nothing in your icebox, nigga. You nigga mad. Nigga wake up, nothing eat, nothing. You nigga can't bitch ass, nigga. I ain't got nothing to I ain't. Food stamp. How this how man go have food stamp? You know they don't give black men food stamp. 
<laughs> Come on, man. This man a single daddy. <laughs> you know that man? This man a single daddy, man. Come on, homie. You know they don't get a black man no food stamp, my nigga. That man own a fleet of trucks. <laughs> Say, bro, how long you been living here? Shit. About 10 years. Ever since you got out the feds? Yeah. Yes, that nigga got out the feds, got him a three bedroom duplex, and got all his kids. He, he came and got his kid when he got out the feds. He got his daughter and his son, single dad. And, and that nigga cook every day. Yeah, that nigga cook every day, nigga. You poor ass niggas on here. Your daddy ain't cook for you. Don't none of you niggas know what it feel like to wake up to your daddy's cooking. His daughter know what it feel like to wake up to his daddy's cooking. His son know what it feel like to come out his room and see his daddy and other strong men. His son ain't gonna be weak like y'all. His son get to see all these different strong men who are fathers to their children. Ain't none of these niggas no dead be daddy like you niggas daddy. Ah, not one of us, nigga. You niggas ain't seen no strong motherfucking men like this. That's why you niggas sitting around on the internet expressing your hateful emotions by way of emojis and typing. And boy, it's a hell of a thing to have to type that much because don't nobody want to listen to you. you I'm going to let you niggas look at what some strong men look like. You see them niggas ain't took no break yet. You see them niggas ain't took no break yet. Shit, you see them niggas ain't took no break yet. Them niggas getting it. Say, these are the kind of women, women, these are the kind of men your mama want to fuck. <laughs> these are the kind of men your sister would love to fuck. <laughs> these are the kind of men your daddy mama want to fuck. Say, boy, these, every woman you can think of in your life, nigga, this is the kind of men. They wake up, they ain't sitting around pulling for no PS5. They ain't smoking no weed. They ain't getting drunk. They is getting their bodies right. They got their minds right before they came out here to get their mind right. I heard the man putting people on jobs. Say, where you at? Man, I'm in Wisconsin driving a truck. Say, where you at? Man, I done made it to Arizona. He done send folks out with instructions. I told y'all proper instructions motivate people. If you niggas can just get around, you some good men, boy. Hey, say, boy, I know your mama done fucked you up. She done gave you that PlayStation 5, but she started out getting your phone too early. You should gave that, they say, listen, you should have gave that boy a plastic hammer. You should have bought him build the, build the bob tools. You shouldn't have gave that little motherfucker no phone. You done fucked him up and made that bitch weak getting that little motherfucker that phone. Now look at him. He can't put that goddamn phone down and do nothing with his life. No, nigga, do say he say half the bills gone. You think these niggas go wake up and drink real early in the morning with their kids, my nigga? Is that how y'all daddy done y'all? Are those are the kind of men y'all saw, my nigga. That y'all think a nigga would get on her and fake and shake with some more. These niggas didn't know I was coming over here. This nigga didn't know I was coming over here with this Hollywood shit. Let me show you. Nigga, I done brought big lights. Look, I done brought the stand. That nigga didn't know I was coming over here with this Hollywood shit. That nigga didn't have no motherfucking idea that I was coming over here with bright lights talking, disrupting their workout session. That nigga ain't have no motherfucking idea. <laughs> yeah, but I want I know where to find the kind of man the world needs to see. Ain't nobody running around with no bow reds doing no antics. None of that, man. I just, no, man, I want, I want to come. So then if I take y'all and show y'all this house, man, the man is a father. Daughter, son. And they wake up to their father every day. They go to their mama's house, their mama come over here. But these children get to see strong men. And you niggas don't. That's the difference, my nigga. That's why you niggas pose see me as a threat to you. Bitch, you nigga talk too much. Because y'all ain't seen a strong man. And this light that I'm reflecting on that light that y'all think y'all been having is showing y'all. No. You niggas don't even know how to hammer each other in the wall, nigga. We ain't shouting. I dare. Let's have a. I, you niggas can't even hammer a nail in the wall, my nigga. You niggas ain't never chopped no wood. You niggas don't know how to take that motherfucking axe and have it center mashed in your body, huh? Huh? You niggas can't chop no motherfucking wood, nigga. Then you niggas can't do this. Nigga. You niggas can't take that motherfucking axe, huh? And jump with it. So you can get it. You niggas don't know how to take that motherfucker and chop no motherfucking tree. That way, nigga, you bitch ass niggas is weak. Most of you niggas can't even wake up every morning and do 50 push-ups, nigga. You don't give a damn about your body. All you want to do is feel something that's going to pull you down, nigga. Most of you niggas just like laying in the bed with a bitch, nigga. 
You don't know how to jump up before the sun get up, and she wants you to lay there. Man, fuck just laying with that bitch. Nigga, get up and do something, nigga. Weak ass nigga laying around. All you bitch ass nigga laying on your motherfucking backs right now, nigga. Looking up at a phone trying to type to me, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, stand on your feet, nigga. You ain't gonna never see me laying down talking to no man. You ain't gonna see me laying down with the sun up, nigga. I'm gonna come out here, nigga. Put my motherfucking feet on the pavement, nigga. Because I was told, nigga, you got to wake up and leave that house and go get it and come back with it. And if you can't come back with nothing, you stay out there until you come back with something, nigga. You don't come back empty handed. You don't leave the motherfucking house, nigga, and come back empty handed, nigga. You ain't got a loaf of bread or nothing. No toilet tissue. No paper towels. No, no case of water. We need to stock up on water anyway, nigga. You can't even bring no motherfucking case of water back into the house. You bringing your funky motherfucking feet back off of somebody's house and you coming in empty handed. That's where we done fucked up at, black boy. You niggas out having fun. Pussyfooting. Come addicted. Three, Ass obsessed. Bitch ass nigga, when you leave the house today, you better not bring your bitch ass back in the house without nothing, nigga. Better get some toilet tissue or something, nigga. If you ain't got to do nothing but go to the Family Dollar Walmart, nigga, and get a 99 cent gallon of water, nigga. But don't bring your bitch ass in now, some bitch house, empty handed. No more from this day forward. Do you hear me? Because you done heard better now. Now you know better, bitch ass nigga, you got to do